Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Yasudian, one of the dermatologists based in the UK. Today I thought I will discuss something I learned recently when I attended the virtual American Academy of Dermatology meeting. One of the lecturers, Dr. Corey Dunnick from the University of Colorado, asked a very pertinent question. For washing the skin, do you recommend a bar of soap or liquid gels to your patients who have sensitive skin? This was really something interesting which I did not really consider before the meeting. So let's look at it. There are advantages and disadvantages for both soaps and liquid gels. So we'll need to look at each of them and determine which would be the most suitable for those with sensitive skin. Traditional soap is a product made of natural plant oils and glycerin molecules. Typically, most soaps are made of animal and vegetable fats. However, soap bars are always alkaline with a high pH, and this may be harsh on the skin that has a slightly acidic pH. Also, from the late 20th century, the composition of a bar of soap was made more complicated as they became mass-produced and synthetic colors and perfumes were added. Going on to the liquid gels now. Unlike slippery soap bars, their liquid format may be more convenient. They are quick forming due to their formulations and are highly effective in cleaning the skin. And most manufacturers claim that it does not strip the skin of its protective barrier as much as soap bars do. Liquid soap is actually a petroleum based product and chemicals such as preservatives, parabens, surfactants and phthalates are added. Most liquid soap products market themselves as luxury blondes. Shower gel manufacturers advertise their products as revitalizing forms and rebalancing body experiences. This is quite the opposite to a simple bar of soap where the labeling is clear and concise and very rarely do the manufacturers make a fuss about fancy ingredients and uh, fragrances. This excellent publication in the journal Dermatitis in 2018 compared the top 50 soap bars to the top 50 liquid gels available in the market. The results were very instructive and is especially relevant to those with sensitive skin. Firstly, liquid soap washes had far more preservatives and surfactant allergens compared to bar soaps. The p-value was less than 0.001, making it a highly significant finding. However, there was no difference in the quantity of fragrances in both products. If you look at the commonly available liquid gels, they have many of the allergens that we find in our own patch testing clinics. Methyl isothiazolinone is probably one that we all identify as being a prime cause for allergic contact sensitivity. This peer-reviewed article quotes that the sales of soap bars have actually fallen by 2.2% even though there's been an increase in overall spending on bath and shower products. This is mainly because of consumers aged below the age of 65 years. For example, one third of those between the age of 25 to 35 years are willing to wash their face with soap compared to 60% of those above the age of 65 years. This is because of the perceived inconvenience of storing soaps and also the perceived uncleanliness in using them. Now, is this true? To disprove this commonly held belief, in one study, soap bars were inoculated with gram-negative bacteria and the subjects were then asked to wash their hands with that same soap. None of the participants had any detectable level of bacterium on their hands after washing. This suggests that soap bars are pretty robust in preventing infection and are not unhygienic. So what did I learn from this review? The findings suggest that bar soaps are better than liquid gels for many reasons. They have less chemicals, as liquid preparations need a lot more preservatives compared to solid products. Hence, they are less likely to predispose consumers to an allergic contact sensitivity compared to liquid gels. They're also more environmentally friendly 
as they have less packaging and plastic waste. Finally, for those of us who are economically inclined, it is a lot more cost effective as they last longer and cost less than liquid gel products. I hope you found this information useful as much as I had preparing it. Thank you for watching. Bye.